Hello and welcome! My name is Martin and in this new video series we are going to learn Achille Marozzo's two-handed sword play. Today we will have a look at the first part of his Primo Assalto, the first series of plays. They are great because you can train these with a partner or on your own. First I'll show you my interpretation of the text, solo and step by step then how to apply the techniques with a partner and finally I discuss alternative interpretations and link some other good examples for your further studies. You find a link to the translation by Jarek Swenger in the video description. It's a great book and an excellent present. Today's lesson consists of three parts. In the first we are going to take the initiative. Start in Guardia di Testa with the blade upwards and in a thumb grip, with your right leg forward. Now feint a falso and puntanto, while stepping to the left. That's a false edge strike from the left in this case, which concludes in a thrust if your opponent does nothing. If they move to parry, turn your hands counterclockwise, step to the right and while stepping flow into a mandrito. A strike from your right and a tramazzone, another strike from your right that circles around your hands. You end in porta di ferro larga, right leg forward, hands on the left of your right knee and the sword pointing towards the ground. Strike the mandrito through their head and sword to open the line for the following tramazzone. In the second part we are reacting to a strike towards our head on our left. Step into the blow with your right leg going left and raise your sword to parry with the true edge. Thrust them in the face at the same time. Roll into reverso fendente, a blow from your upper left and step with your left leg in the same direction. You will end in coda longa e alta, left leg forward and your hands on the right side of your body. If you are studying Giovanni della Gocchia, you will notice that this play is similar to his direct parry and riposte in Guardia di Faccia against an opponent's Mandrito. In the last part, we defend another blow to our head, this time on our right. Draw the left leg back and raise your crossed arms to parry and thrust at the same time again, just on the other side. If they displace your blade to your left, take a step back with your right, throw a falso dritto to the hands and let your left leg follow behind your right. Make a half turn with your hands to end in porta di ferro alta. Right leg forward, hands on your left and at breast height. Note that the size and destination of your steps largely depend on your opponent, so play around. Let's have a look how to apply these techniques with a partner. Note that my wife doesn't train historical fencing at all. So if you want to encourage her to help me in future videos, leave a positive comment. At first I would advise to train these techniques step by step. Your opponent starts in Porta di Ferro Alta, leaving an opening to their right. That's where our initial falso impuntanto strikes. Try to clear their blade and hit with a thrust. If they raise up to thrust around your blade, just raise up as well. After you landed your initial action a few times, you can start to feint the falso and puntado, like I'm demonstrating in this clip. As you observe them closing their gap, be soft and roll into your two mandriti. The second and third part starts with a single time counter a thrust that parries their blow at the same time. Feel free to start practicing it as two separate actions at first, so a parry and repost. And then merge both movements into one. Add more resistance as you progress in your training. Tell your partner to try to actually hit you with their strikes. Perform the drill within free footwork, so you actually have to manage your distance. Finally, give your partner alternative reactions to keep your own mind sharp 
before progressing into different forms of sparring. There are many great interpretations available on YouTube from Marozzo's Primo Assalto. They excel in rhythm, energy and form. So, what is special about the actions I perform? First, let's talk about the falso impuntado, as Marozzo doesn't define it explicitly. In chapter 95 he tells us it's a kind of tondo, a horizontal blow. The name also indicates that we should use the false edge and strike with the punta, the point of our weapon. Furthermore, we can conclude from the falso impuntado with a side sword that it can be thrown as a mandrito and a reverso. Thus, I think it's a subcategory of Giovanni della Gocchia's Mandrito and Riverso in Falso. It's a false edge tondo that concludes in a thrust. Another theory is to throw the Falso and Puntado from the right, but disengage under the opponent's blade to thrust on the outside. Chapter 172 contradicts this in my opinion, as we are told to counter a not fainted Falso and Puntado with a Reverso. Besides, I would not feel safe feinting a blow to my opponent's covered side as nothing prevents them to just thrust me in the face as I disengage. The other difference in my interpretation is how to strike the Tramazzone in the first part. If the Mandrito gets parried after the false impuntado, you could redouble and throw the Tramazzone behind their blade. This works if you really have the initiative and they are very defensive. But be aware that you have a huge opening on your right side now. Also, the next action in the drill indicates an opponent's blow to your left, not your right. Anyway, I propose you train and play with all of these ideas as they certainly will make you a better fencer. For now, I would like to thank you for your attention, like, comment and share this video with a friend. Until next time, take care.